BRM, this is the Video Shop uh, DVD VHS. I plan to uh, do a little bit more changes in shelving over the winter. Hopefully uh, September, October I can get another shelf here. And then November and December I can fix out that one shelf that's in, in the middle. I did stain this uh, shelf to try to get rid of the marker and it looks a lot nicer now. Although, that was the first wood I found, that was for $12, and that yeah, made it a little bit more expensive, so that's almost like a $70 build. This uh, shelf cost about $50, $60. This small shelf roughly cost it $50, plus uh, about $20 in screws. So I do have one working drill, so I don't have to buy a drill. But I might have to buy a jigsaw because I have my jigsaw is too old and I cannot even find a blade for it. But I have, do have a bench, so I can use a bench for cutting this wood and it's enough. So if I don't have to invest into tools, I'm not going to. Because I would rather put that money into uh, music and games and then get the TV shows and the VHS that I want. So. It still could be another three or four years before I'm cut up and before I can, I can start doing Friday 13 or uh, VHS. But I got a lot of the horror I do want on DVD, so just added the uh, promo for Ghostbusters. And I need to clean up some of these tools. I'm not going to change the shelves uh, this year, maybe at the end of another year. Those are going to be at least uh, 60 to 70 dollars to build a tall shelf like that. But it's going to be a lot better. I'll get more space out of it. And a lot easier to see what, what I'll have down below. So like here I could come very easy to show you what I have. Like old PC games lying around. Some uh, anime. And this is the older part of the video store movies on this uh, shelf. Then comes into some newer stuff. Uh, Karate Kid, Ghost Rider, Enter the Dragon, Pulp Fiction, and mismatch of uh, TV shows. So I'm trying to get whatever big box I can. Usually, Christmas money, I'll probably get up another box that I think if I get any. Oh, here I wanted to change out another shelf probably at the end of the year. Depends how cold it is if I'll be able to go thrifting. I'll try to go thrifting, pick up a little something. Never know what you can find thrifting. Usually it's not much like old western combi like you see down here. It's mostly what I get thrifting for is the Gump, uh, Dumb and Dumber, Ace of Ventura I see a lot. Titanic I see a lot. Some war movies down below and my vintage haunted dolls are looking pretty nice. This one's my favorite. Bride doll. Only way you can tell if they're haunted is if you have a EMF meter. Maybe in four years I might get an EMF meter but I'd like to get a little bit more Simpsons. But I might have to do that on eBay. And probably get more Scooby Doo on VHS. I can only find three in my area. And uh, a few for Franklin, I got. Starting to find some stuff for Kalu. And I learned my animation from them. So maybe Scooby Doo I can learn a little bit of animation from. But. Uh, Toy Story. I don't learn animation from Toy Story. It's kind of hard to draw a Toy Story. And this is the room. Pick out whatever I cut it for Disney for VHS. So I got the Disney DVD over here. So another older part of the room. Mismatch or whatever older horror movies, older comedy movies. So I don't keep things in order and I don't collect Region 2. I used to have a little bit of region 2, I would keep it in the bottom shelf, but I don't have any. I think I threw them all out, because I don't have a region 2 player. 
and I don't really play Blu-ray that much, but I still keep some Blu-ray on hand. So I do have a little bit of Blu-ray, but not that much. And this is so far. Hopefully, I can make another shelf here if I need to. I can put two more shelves out here, and that'd be the most uh, my room will have, or I won't be able to walk through over here. But for another couple of years, it's going to be enough space to add music, add some extra DVDs, to just fix up some of the shelving. Because a lot of the shelving I made from scrap wood. Now that I can buy better wood, I can make a better shelf. So I don't have to rely on buying it from Home Depot or buying it from uh, online. Because online, you never know how the shelves are. Most of them become like this. They're so wide and so tall. And it just takes up a lot more space. Most people have like a lot of empty space up top and you end up stacking movies on top of movies and putting movies behind movies. And I don't like that. That's why I'm not stacking much there. Because you can't tell what you have. When I go thrifting, I like to come here and do I need to keep eye out anything for uh, Superman? Do I need to keep eye out anything for Child's Play? Like I already have a couple of sets on Superman, so I don't need to buy any more. I just recently found this one with the box, so I took this one. So, and I never see it with a box, so that's pretty good. Might need to get one more for uh, Friday 13th Part 3, I think. So that's why I need to have them visible, so I'm not bringing home doubles. Because uh, Goodwill is pricing their TV shows up as well, so gotta keep eye out for that. 